Why don't we get started in the front playground, away from the building? We stand a bit closer, we could take some marshmallows. <laughs> Wouldn't that be dangerous? No, I just basically joke. Shouldn't we be running? No, that's more dangerous than taste some marshmallows. That's quite right, Cathy. No running! Shall we come on? Martin Miller. She must be a prefect. Who do you mean? What's up? Just her phone. I can't see my sister. Mr Parker keeps a number of invertebrates and he's offered to leave Antonio here for a few days so that we can run a little project of our own. Anyone of a nervous disposition if you'd like to stand a little further back? Yes. So, can anyone tell me the name of this formidable creature? Antonio, sir. Tarantula, sir. Correct. And can anyone tell me the strange and mysterious origin of the word tarantula? Martin? In the 15th century, Italian villagers from a place called Taranto started having shaking fits, which they blamed on the bite of the local spider. So they named it Tarant. Ula. Correct. What happened to you? Swallow an encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> How would I do that? Would anyone like to hold him? Oh, oh no. Yes! yes. Want to buy him smokes? No, thanks. Fair enough. Anything else you fancy? No, thanks. Was it you, Mr. Robson, pulled up the fire yesterday? I didn't have to. I got out on my own. Weren't you scared? <gasps> Don't you fancy her? Don't suppose you've ever seen a woman in her underwear, have you? Have your fun somewhere else. I love that. Stay with my brother. Just go on. Mind you, there's a book on deadly spiders in the library. You probably scared of the pictures anyway. I don't remember you putting your hand up top of the tarantula. Didn't want to in class. Would now. Someone else did it with me. We'll just ask Mr. Hankin then, shall we? Now, what's the fun in that? She'll know about the library. She was on fire duty yesterday. Must be a prefect. Are you a prefect? Oh, Granger doesn't That's have... That's me. We want to get a book out of the library. Not possible, I'm afraid. Place for the building work. What are we supposed to do, then? They've got special tables where you can all sit and read the same book. Have to book them out, though. And you have to come in on a Saturday. <laughs> Forget it. You're terrible, you are. Sorry. Not understanding the timetable is starting to wear a bit thin, Maddie. Everyone else manages to get here on time. You did a lot more than I asked for. It was very well done, though. Not a single wrong answer. The standard's been set, kids. Again. OK, Josh, show that you do the diversion. Still, wait until everyone's gone. And keep him talking for as long as you can. No. Go on, then. Mr Hankin, sir, quick! Yes, Josh. It was a mouse, sir. One of the loved ones. Surely not. There it is. What? Where? Shh. You go first. Oh. No, I've got the lead. You pick it up. <sighs> Ow! Uh, look, everyone, just stand still. Have you actually checked the cages to see if any have escaped? No, sir. Well, let's do that then, shall we? Good idea, sir. Let's check in the classroom. Oh, yes. All present and correct. You must have been imagining things, Josh. Unless it was a wild mouse, sir. Thank you for that, Maddie. I don't think so. Pity you two chickened out picking up the tarantula yesterday. You could be real heroes now. All right, I know, especially now it's escaped. It was definitely the spider guy Martin heard. Of course it was. Who else is going to be talking about their tarantula escaping from the school? Don't move. Ow, what was that? It didn't get you, did it? What? You had a spider on you. Ah! <laughs> Martin, look out. Ow, what are you doing? You had a spider on you. No, I didn't. I would have known. Hand rat. You know you've got to do people like Maddie? You just walk away. Okay. Got yourself a boyfriend then? That's nice. The best you could do, Maddie. Ow! How 
do you like it? What do you think you're doing? Annika? It's all right, Amy. Do you understand how it feels to get picked on now? It's got nothing to do with you. It has when you try it on my friends. Why don't you pick on me? Or haven't you got the guts? What's up? It's all right, Spencer. What? The racist. That's a bit odd, isn't it? You hanging around with him. Spencer's not a racist. That's not what half the school says. Half the school's wrong. It takes two to fall out like that. Hello, Miss Rebats. Hi. What have you got after maths? What percentage of this class is vegetarian? Uh, Martin, you've had a fair crack of the whip already. What about you, Shona? You've been pretty quiet today. Shona, what was the question? Seems the light's on, but no one's at home. Oh no! Give it back! Give it! Look! You've torn it! Sorry, Look! Martin. It's torn! I, I made that bar on myself! Martin, it was an accident. We can tape it back. I don't want it taped! I want it the way it was! Listen, Martin. Um, you were right about there being more spiders. I saw one just now. Where? In the toilets. What did it look like? Like that. I'll get some tape. That's the tarantula. Why don't we try and catch it? Could start behind the back of the kitchens. No, it's got to be somewhere that's dark and cool. That's what they like. Oi, come back here. Martin? Hey, Martin. What? I thought that door was always locked. Where does it go? It's the basement. Somewhere dark and cool. The tarantula. Socks again. This is perfect. If there is a spider's nest, there's bound to be in here. <coughs> We've got to be very still and quiet. Haha, <laughs> you're locked in now. Nutty? Nutty? Really? I'm just trying to scare you. Shh! Thank you. Oh, uh, could someone remind me to give one of these to Martin Miller when he's back, please? Only it is important that everyone takes part in this exercise. Thank you. I can't believe he's still down there. Wait a minute. Martin is here today. He's with you at lunch. What have you done to him? Nothing. Maybe he's bunked off. Uh, before you shoot off, just a reminder to leave the building as soon as possible. And remember that the entire main building, central section, that's all floors, including the basement, are strictly out of bounds. Goodbye. Lad, we've got to tell them where he is. It's not going to be safe down there. The builders will check everywhere before they start. But look, we don't know a thing, okay? And don't go getting ideas about blabbing to anyone. Oh, come on, girls, please. Maddie? What's up with Maddie? She's in a rush. We've got to get Martin. We went spider hunting in the basement at lunch. I think he's still down there. He's been there all afternoon? In the old boiler room. He does know about the demolition work, doesn't he? I don't know. Whose idea is this? No way, don't tell me. Foxes in Downing Street, mice in the underground. So the chances of this school being full of wildlife are high. Now, as a useful indicator of this, I thought you could examine the diversity of our resident spider population. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, there's a special prize for the pupil who brings me the most species after two days. You girls might as well give up. You seriously think you can catch my spiders because you're a boy? Of course. We'll see about that. We'll walk it if we can get him a tarantula. You really think there is one? Well, what do you think the danger signs are? All that water. 
it'll have weakened the plaster work. They're worried about a bit of crumbling? Nah, they found spiders behind there. No question. And it's just a way of using us to get to them. But spiders like it dry. They're so arrogant. That's what annoys me. We don't stand a chance. Of course we do. Remember all those spider webs down in the basement? Oi. What the world were you? Who was down there with Martin yesterday? I don't know. Come on. Honest, he said something about looking for spiders somewhere dark and cool. I just guessed he'd be down there. Oh, come off it. He wouldn't just sit on there on his own. He'd have to be mad. Um, just forget it, yeah? Who does he think he is? Is it something he wants to say to her? Like what? Like thanking her? For not dropping you in it. Thanks. Don't mention it. He's only worried about his brother. Come on, let's look for some spiders. Martin Miller! What is the meaning of this? I found a pile of them in the cloakroom. I thought I could use them. What? I've seen a couple of them on the notice board since, so perhaps I shouldn't have. Here. Notice boards? He's right, sir. There's loads of them all over the place. Are you a crook then, sir? <laughs> well, of course I'm not a crook. It was Cambridge. Everybody borrows bikes. What do you mean, all over the place? He's crying. Shona, you all right? I miss my mum. Oh, you coming in? What are you crying about, you big baby? Daddy! Oh. She is, look at her. Her mum and dad are spitting up. Oh, boo-hoo. How sad. You have a nice big cry, Shona. That'll stop him spitting up. You ought to be careful of you have no friends. As the female sinks her fangs into the gift, the male slips beneath her. Oh, that's disgusting. I think it's quite romantic. So, if these little fellas get lucky and all the lovely ladies' eggs hatch and survive, how many spiders would that make, approximately? 2,548. Approximately? Exactly. Oh. You don't have to pretend to be happy. I'm all right. Just wish my mum and dad were as well. And your sister? Yeah, and my sister. Here, have these. Can't eat them. Couldn't eat breakfast either. You taking her stuff as well as sticking the knife in now? What? Shona, don't let her bully you. She wasn't. She was asking if I was all right. You sure? Yeah, she's sure. So sorry, little Miss Doogood, but she's fine. Love is a prison and love is free. Love's what's there when you're away from me. Love is. Right, Adrian Henry's poem Love Is is an excellent example of metaphor. Let's have one or two more examples of love is. Josh. An incurable disease. <laughs> nice. Uh, Maddie, love is? written all over his face. <laughs> kill, 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 kill. Leave it alone! It's not hurting anyone! How do you know? Could be a tarantula. Could kill me. It's an ordinary spider. It can't hurt anybody. Well, it won't now, spider boy. Ah, uh, it's all squished. You really enjoyed that, didn't you? Yes, actually. All right, sit down, everyone, please. Now, I've marked your essays with some good efforts. A bit more time on your spelling, Martin. A bit less time chasing spiders. Oh, uh, excuse me, miss. It's been a bit of a hitch. We're going to have to move it to the history room. Yes. yes! Quiet, everyone, please. Have those men come to fumigate the spiders, miss? No one's fumigating anything, madam. Uh, more's a pity if you ask me. Yeah, well, no one is asking you, Mr. Abbott. Thank you. What's up with you? You don't want to know. Yes, I do. Come on, tell me. I feel awful. Big sis giving you a hard time. Not really. You know what I do when someone gives me some grief? What? I give someone else a hard time. It makes you feel a lot better. idea of a joke. I'm telling you. She's been bitten. 
damage. She's gonna die. Two red spots, poison spraying through the body. Two red spots, swelling pains. Becoming Martin, pains. listen to me, Martin. Uh, Shona is okay. She, she hasn't been bitten. Look at me, Martin. Shona is okay. Um, what on earth is going on? Jeff, what's happened? One of the girls played a trick on Martin. He seems to be all right now, but I'll take him to the medical room to be on the safe side. Come on, Martin. Everything's okay. Everyone else, settle down, please. See what you've done to him. It was her idea. Shut up. It's not my fault. I didn't know he was going to throw a wobbly. Yes, you did. You've been winding him up ever since he got here. Uh, settle down. Come on. You were supposed to have read this last night. Gollum takes Frodo and Sam to Shilob's Lermis as a sacrifice so she could eat them. Ugh. Quiet. But Shona's been bitten, miss. I think Shona's sick, miss. You just don't give up, do you? Look. Right, that's it. Shona, Maddie, I'm splitting you up. Shona, come and sit at the front where I can keep an eye on you. Shona? Shona? They shouldn't be advertising anything like this in a school playground. Oh, it's about a band that comes to play at our school. Who? Nineteen down. Yeah, but who are they? They must be a class act to have their own leaflets. What's the big deal? Nineteen down are coming to our school. But you don't even know anything about them. We do. All of them are under eighteen. When they have their 18th birthday, they're sacked and someone younger takes their place. Yeah, that's why they're called 19 Down. You only know that because you read it in the leaflets. You don't even know what they sound like. Break it up, folks. 26. What's all this about? 19 Down. Have you heard of them, miss? Band? Yes. No. And the only rhythms I want to talk about today are logarithms. Oh. He's well fit, that one. What's his name? Nixon. He's the lead singer. But have you even heard them yet? Yeah. No, we will though when they come here. But you might hate them. Oh, Martin! Martin what are you you're joking! About? Never! After Martin! What a geek. There's pictures and interviews and everything. You can even play a bit of the next single. They can't have a next single. They haven't even released a first one yet. Who cares? It's brilliant. I sent Nixon an email. Do you think he'll write one back? I wouldn't hold your breath. Come on now, the bell's about to go into your form room. We're just looking at the dates for the talent show, sir. The dates aren't going to be announced for some time yet, Josh. The year heats are in two weeks' time, and the final's in 37 days, sir. Form rooms, now. You're pretty good at this, aren't you? I'm just checking my mailbox. You know all about email and that, don't you? It's easy. So, could you send someone an email and pretend it was from someone else? I suppose. But why would I want to do that? Then they wouldn't know who it was from. Do you know Kathy's email address? Yeah. Why? Kathy's going to be more chuffed when she gets Nixon's email. But it's not really from him. She won't know that. Exactly. It'll make her day. She's bound to write back. And we can find out what she talks to him about. You've got it yet. Depends on what you went on the computer. I still don't understand this. What's the point of us emailing Kathy, pretending to be Nixon? Who? That's the point. Look at this. Nixon wrote that from his own private email address. Get out. Did he? That's great. It's been ages writing back. I think I might have blown my maths homework. Me and Martin will give it a look over, if you like. Thanks, guys. Oh, he's so sweet. Look, he still sounded very nice. I think I should send him a photo myself. Depends. What did you say in your email? Oh, just told him about school and stuff. I'm sure I was riveted. You're just jealous. This isn't an email. It's a short story. It was over a kilobyte. I think you're the best looking boy I've ever seen. Blah, blah, blah. I talk about you all day at school. Doesn't she, though? There's a girl called Maddie at my school who's a bit of a psycho. That must be you. And a kid called Martin who acts like he's from Mars. I don't. No one lives on Mars. You got it then. What, what have they got? 
She told Nick that I'm a psycho. Where'd you get that from? This is really mean. Oh, come on, Maddie, so the joke's backfired. Don't take it so seriously. She called you a wimp who follows a girl twice his age around like a puppy dog. That's private. Not anymore, it isn't. OK, class, you can take lunch five minutes early. That's it. Go on. Find home to Nixon. Can't believe she said all that stuff. She didn't say it to us. Yeah, but she said it about us. Have you done your maths homework yet, Cathy? Who are you talking to? Cathy, of course. Two-faced cow. She's only got one. Oh, don't just follow her around. No, I know. I. Come on, let's go and watch from over there. It's a bad smell here. I can't smell anything. Loads of work to catch up. That's what I hate about being sick. Teachers get you to do it all. It's loads of homework. But if you don't catch up after you've been away, you get left behind. Yeah, we know that, Martin. Still a pain though, isn't it? I hate things all piling up on me. Hi, Cathy. Don't speak to her. Why not? She's a geek. This is an excellent list of the best science websites, including the Hubble telescope. Two geeks together, right? Hi, Cathy. Got something to show you. Why are you speaking to Cathy? This is what she told 19 down about you. She only was this little kid in our year who's really, really sensitive. She keeps bursting into tears about her mum and dad spitting up. She's made me sound like a little crybaby. I know. You got it right, Nad. Two kids together. Brilliant! Wow! Brilliant! <laughs> I can find you a recipe for silly putty, too. It's special stuff for athletes. Build you up in your dreams. What's wrong with Martin? It's only a big nasty noise. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Martin. What you found? American Neurological Society. What's that, boss? Give that back. It's only such a pain. It's only a piece of paper. I just thought that maybe I could help him. What makes you think Martin needs any help? Just find the way in. No, he isn't. He's dead creepy, isn't he, Shona? You should have seen him this morning. It was a right laugh. No, I didn't mean it like that. Really? That's not what you said to us at lunch. Or is it Shona? I didn't say anything. Look, my brother's fine. He doesn't need you or anyone else sticking your nose in. All right? Um, should I show the geek how to fly? Yeah. Are you all right? She's not looking, you know. She's not in the least bit interested. I'm not doing it to impress Vicky anymore. Are we fine taking the hint then, Romeo? No. Well, what happened then? I just changed my mind. I likely believe that. Well, ask Vicky then. Shut it, will you? This doesn't go any further, all right? She's a lesbian. She's not. She is. She's going out of Kelly Bradshaw. Year 13. You won't tell anyone, will you? No. No, of course we won't. No, Josh. We won't tell anyone. Is that big enough? Yeah, I think so. Oh, the pen's leaked everywhere. Come on. One last job before registration. Butterfingers. We did that on purpose. Oh, that sounds like fighting talk to me. These are important. Save it, will ya? 
I don't think I could stand too much excitement in one day. Half things at home, Shana. Mind your own business, nose. Come on. Just need to check it's open. Stupid mistake. Very stupid. And don't crump one another. Now, this one is from my own personal collection. It's from 77 AD. Shona, your hands are filthy. Wash them at break. Now, look at these markings. Did you find them yourself, miss? Hmm. I used to go out every Saturday with a metal detector and a flask of hot tea. <laughs> uh, there's something moving in my pocket. It's a mouse! Yeah. Oh, stay calm! Yeah. Oh, it's all right! Yeah. It's all right! No. It's all right! Get out! Right. Get out of my pocket! 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 No! Get down! Get out! Martin, go go it, go get get down out. off those oh, chairs, Maddie! Shona, get down now! I'll take this to Mr. Hankin, miss. Now, who did this? This mouse did not get into Martin's pocket of its own accord. And is there any reason why this mouse has these unusual markings, Shona? Don't know, miss. It doesn't take a Sherlock Holmes to realise that you're behind this. Go on, off you go, Josh. Now, will you all please sit down? It's complicated. It's not there. Are you all right now? Yes, I'm much better now. I've got something here I want to show you. Oh, Shona, can I have a word, please? Shona! Do you realise you could break someone's ankle doing that? Doing what? I was watching you, Shona, so don't try and act the innocent. And we still haven't talked about what happened with the mouse earlier. Is there any chance of your illuminating me as to why you suddenly decided to break every school rule in one week? She hasn't. Thank you, Maddie. Now, off you go. I thought Mr. Robson's office was a bit more private. Are you sure Martin's not in any trouble? I guess that was Carver. It's Martin Martin's mum and dad, isn't it? I bet they've come to locking up in a loony bin. Let's go and listen. Very good, Shona. You're learning. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Martin's not autistic. We're his parents. We'd know if he had something like that. Oh, isn't always that obvious. Carver said he could just snap at any time. No, she didn't. Why is it called asparagus in here? Because it's a vegetable. Copy this down, please. You're all right, Josh. You look all pale. Yeah, I just feel a bit dizzy, that's all. What's that supposed to be, sir? Why, Martin, is that one of your relatives? Just ignore <laughs> Martin, it's almost half past. You can get to your appointment. <laughs> Where's he going, miss? The brain surgeon. That's none of your business, Maddie. I'm going to an educational psychologist because my mind doesn't work like other people's. You should be ashamed, Maddie. That took a lot of courage for Martin to share with the class. <laughs> <laughs>